This man had HIV, he was living with HIV. He also developed Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is a type of blood cancer. He became very sick and three years ago, his doctors decided to try a last ditch attempt um, to save his life. And they offered him a bone marrow transplant with stem cells from an HIV resistant donor. This is very significant. Uh, the International AIDS Society has described this as a critical moment in the search for a cure. The London patient is the second person ever worldwide to achieve remission from HIV in a, on an extended basis. And it does mean that this is a proof of concept that a cure for AIDS can be found. We were presenting the uh, second example of uh, sustained remission from HIV um, uh, in a case where an individual has been transplanted with cells that are resistant to HIV um, for the purpose of treating the cancer, uh, termed an allogeneic stem cell trans transplant. The significance is that it, it's been 10 years since the first one was reported um, without any cases in between and uh, therefore there are a number of questions that were asked as to um, uh, what was special about the first case? Was it uh, a patient factor that was not repeatable? Um, or was it something about the regimen? Or was it the radiation that he had? And also, so could it be repeated? I think it's important to have, to have repeated it, potentially. Well, there is already activity in the field of modification of cells by gene editing. Um, and so editing or modifying white blood cells that are the targets of HIV is very attractive. Um, uh, and it's in development, we just need to optimize it um, and that's a big that's a big task. Yes, I would like to meet the London patient very much. Uh, um, I would, would say take your time in, um, if, you, if you want to become public, do it and it, it's been very useful for science and for giving hope to, um, to HIV positive people and I'm so glad to have a family member added to my family. I was the only person cured of HIV at that point and I didn't want to be the only person and so um, I have pretty much gave gave my life up, my other life up, and um, that became my mission. And because and, I felt like I had a moral obligation to make sure that there were more of, uh, or more of me. <laughs>